Hi, this is Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'd like to lead us on a little tapping round about intimacy. And it's a pretty weighty subject for some people. And it's really about, this tapping session is going to be about clearing away any blocks that may be in the way of getting to know another person's heart, learning how to reveal your own heart, um, a lot of people, for many reasons, equate intimacy solely with the sexual realm. And whenever they get close to someone with their heart or their mind, the sexual realm takes over. And it doesn't matter the nature of the relationship. Those thoughts just come for some people, and it makes them very uncomfortable. Um, then they heap guilt upon themselves and make the whole thing worse, so to speak. Other people don't know how to set boundaries appropriately, and, and so when they open their hearts to, to people who aren't safe, and perhaps things have happened in the past where uh, showing one's vulnerability uh, resulted in shame or, or something like that. So some people run from intimacy. They run from it because they confuse the definition of intimacy. They, they only equate it with the sexual realm. Other people uh, think it means telling everything and not having any any boundaries or or, or uh, yeah limits in that sense. Um, so we're going to expand the definition of intimacy in this video to include the relationships between friends or siblings, um, parents and children, um, appropriate opening up of one's heart and mind with another human being that is safe. And, um, and the blocks that may get in the way, uh, any thoughts that come up, any scenarios, uh, lustful thoughts, confusing thoughts, superior thoughts, inferior thoughts, whatever they are, we're going to work on clearing those out. And, um, yeah, getting to a place where it's okay to love, to give and receive love. Um, and uh, in expanding that definition of intimacy, we, you know, it could be you know, going on a hike with some friends or a sibling or, or going bowling with your friends or reading a book with someone you care about or um, praying with someone, sharing your talents with them. Um, those types of things, uh, sharing a meal, having a cup of coffee. Um, Sometimes it's appropriate to have a hug, hold hands, appropriate physical touch. And if there are any blocks in the way of that, we're going to work on clearing them out. And by nature of this video, it may bring up uh, intense uh, emotional responses. And if it does, I encourage you to seek out professional support or counseling therapy or whatnot. And if you are choosing to watch and tap along with this video, you are accepting full responsibility for doing so. And, uh, yeah, with all that said, let's get started. <sighs> even though, even though I'm struggling with intimacy, or I've had struggles with intimacy in the past. I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though I struggle with intimacy, or I have, or I have struggled with intimacy in the past, I, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though I'm struggling with intimacy, and it's hard for me to make heartful, soulful relationships with people, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. There's been so many struggles with intimacy. Perhaps I've messed up all my old relationships and been dishonest. Perhaps I've run from intimacy and 
and struggled with it in such a way that I would just keep backing away and running. Perhaps there's been a lot of pain and distrust and betrayal. Perhaps there's been very good reasons to avoid intimacy. I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. I choose to be gentle with myself right here and right now. I choose to be in reality right here and right now. Every human being has struggled with honesty on some level at some point. Every human being has struggled with intimacy on some level at some point in some way. I'm going to choose to be gentle with myself right here and right now. I know in this moment the key to intimacy is loving myself. The old Latin word, the root for intimacy, means inmost. So in this moment I choose to love my inmost self. And if I have done things where I am feeling guilty, where and when appropriate, I'll make amends, seek forgiveness. And if I'm trying to be intimate with someone and thoughts come, perhaps of a sexual nature, I'm going to choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Because every human being, at some point, in some way, shape, or form, has had unwanted sexual thoughts in their mind. In this moment, I'm going to choose not to fight them, not to resist them. At the same time, I'm not going to indulge them either. I choose in this moment to replace them with thoughts I do want. And I choose in this moment not to heap guilt upon myself for those old thoughts. I choose not to beat myself up. It's all a part of being human. I am perfectly imperfect. And if on my journey to being intimate with someone... Excuse me. I get afraid and back away. I'm going to choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. I'm going to choose to be gentle with myself right here and right now. At one point, avoiding intimacy perhaps was wisdom. Today I'm making a conscious choice to be intimate, to expand my definition of intimacy, to just being friends, going on a hike, going bowling, whatever it is. I choose in this moment to clear away any guilt or shame. I choose in this moment to clear away any thoughts of self-hatred. I choose in this moment to clear away any thoughts of feeling unworthy to give or receive love. I choose in this moment to know I am capable of keeping myself safe. 
to know in this moment I am able and capable of setting appropriate boundaries. The word no is a complete sentence. So is the word yes. So I choose in this moment to consciously choose whom and when I'm going to be vulnerable with. I'm going to choose to go, to go slow and go far. To move ever closer to fully loving and embracing myself. To getting to know my inmost thoughts and feelings. Why I do what I do. Angels can fly because they take themselves lightly. So in this moment I'm going to choose to accept myself even when thoughts come in my head that I don't want. I'm going to choose to let them go in one ear and out the other. Lower my perfectionistic standards. To show myself the same grace and mercy I would a dear friend. The same patience. I'm choosing in this moment to take care of myself. To love myself. And to open my heart and mind to the love and acceptance of other people. I'm choosing to create safe, harmonious relationships. I'm choosing to create safe, harmonious relationships. I'm choosing to create safe and harmonious relationships with myself and with those people I choose to have those safe, harmonious relationships with. I choose to love and accept myself and love and accept other people. I am worthy to receive love. I am worthy to give love. I am worthy to be seen. And I am worthy to see. I can choose to be in the moment. And if thoughts come to run, I can just sit through, let the feelings come and go. Say thanks, old feelings. I don't need you anymore. I can keep myself safe. I am strong and capable. I can set boundaries. I am safe. I am wonderful. I am beautiful. Worthy of love. Worthy of intimacy. Worthy to take that long journey towards union in heart and mind. <sighs> so, I hope you found that helpful. And uh, if it's brought up any real intense uh, feelings, I encourage you to Take care of yourself, seek out appropriate professional uh, support, therapy or counselors. And if you have any blocks of the kind that we uh, just tapped through um, and you want my help, I'm happy to help in any way I can to help remove any of those blocks with you. And uh, know you're doing great work. Just by watching this video, you are a brave soul. And you're doing really great work. You clearly care about your heart and the hearts of those around you. So I honor the work you're doing. 
Go slow, go far. Be patient and gentle with yourself. And have fun. Laugh a bit. It's all good. This is Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog saying thank you so much for watching and take care.